the last few weeks have been rife with speculation that Daniel Ricciardo's position in F1 is under threat. There have been plenty of suggestions that the likes of Oscar Piastri could replace him at McLaren. Daniel has spoken to Speed Cafe about wanting to stay in F1 just prior to all this drama kicking up. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Daniel Ricciardo speaks in depth about F1 and future. Daniel started off by pointing out how high the level of competition is in F1. There's certainly a few things, like the competition. It has to be one of the only sports in the world where there's only 20 people that are doing it. The competition is such like a small 0.001% of a group. So to be able to not only be a part of that group, but to compete inside that group, that's such a unique thing in itself. And so I love that. He then spoke about the highs of the sport. The truth is, the highs you get are just so high because so much goes into it. Of course, you take risks, like to win a race for example, you haven't gone for a Sunday drive, you've put it all on the line, the team has, you've pushed your body mentally and physically. So, then the high and the reward is pretty amazing and pretty spectacular. He cited his win in Monza last year as an example. Monza last year, that was, you know, a week before in Zandvoort, no one was predicting that, not even myself. So even just the thought of a weekend like that could be one week away, it's pretty cool. He signed off by speaking about his future. I could probably keep going, but there are a few things. I believe I still thrive off it because I still believe I belong in Formula 1 and can do it. That's what really gets me jacked and the love of it, as well as knowing that any weekend could be there, like it could be around the corner, you know? Fast Feed McLaren's Lando Norris always looks forward to Spa. It's one of the coolest circuits all season. It would be a shame to lose Spa. A lot of things these days are just about money. That's the problem. It's a business. I think Spa should always be there as long as Formula 1 exists. Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly added that he doesn't think it has anything to do with safety, but I can't wrap my head around the fact that Spa is disappearing from the calendar. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz feels that strategy is always a talking point in Ferrari. I don't know why everyone looks at our strategy and overanalyzes what we should have done. I guess it's part of being Ferrari. There is over-analysis of our radio too. All our radio messages get broadcast. Maybe that gives an impression of chaos. Former F1 driver Juan Pablo Montoya thinks that Max needs to be careful not to get in the comfortable zone of just scoring points. McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel feels that it simply would be great for Formula 1 and for them as competitors if great brands like Porsche and Audi would enter Formula 1. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton explained that these past two weeks have been some of the best days of his entire life. I'm not the same man I was before this trip to Africa. All the beauty, love and peacefulness I experienced has me feeling fully transformed. When asked about rumours of becoming the new chairman of the Supercars Commission, former FIA race director Michael Massey stated, Really? They're only rumours. I've had a number of offers from all corners of the globe, and there's a number of exciting opportunities that have come about. I'm not in any rush to confirm anything on any of them. Does Ferrari strategy receive more unfair attention than the strategy of other teams? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.